told you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at the Windows 10 calculator and how we can use it to convert different currencies from all around the world. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date. Now, of course, the calculator has been around in every version of Windows and it's a very useful tool. Now, probably a lot of people don't realize that you can do a lot more in Windows 10 calculator than you can do in previous versions of calculator. Now, if you want to convert currencies, you can do it really easy with a calculator. Just type calc in the search box and open up the calculator. As you can see here, we've got it as standard. If you hit the three bars up the top left hand side here, you can then click on whatever you like, scientific. And also you've got a programmer, as you can see here, and there's loads of other ones here, but we're gonna to go to converter and look at currency. Now I've got friends all around the world and you can see here, I'm gonna be showing you how to quickly convert. Now there's tons of countries in here which you can convert from and to, and it makes it so simple. So no more looking on the internet for those websites where you can convert. This one does it all right here. And all you need to do here is type in whatever you want to type. So for instance, if you want to do uh, a currency from the pound to US, all you need to do here is type in your currency. I'm going to do £7.50. And as you can see, it tells me it's $10.36. And it's that simple, really. And uh, if you want to change this, you can change it to another currency. For instance, if you want Australian dollars, you can see that's 13 dollars uh, and 26 uh, cents I think they use cents in Australia uh, but as you can see here we can change it to just about anything you want now you obviously you don't have to be uh, from the UK to do the first one you can change it to Australia and you can change it to just about any other currency you want to uh, below so you don't have to just do the UK you can do anything you want uh, to any country you want so for instance Europe and uh, we're going to do euros so let me just clear this and uh, I'll put in something like eight uh, Australian dollars or something like that. So let me just put eight Australian dollars. You can see it converts that straight into euros uh, for you, which is five euros there, as you can see. So pretty straightforward. And uh, you can do other stuff in here. It's not just currencies. You can do a uh, weight and mass. So if you want to do kilos to pounds, you can do. And you just need to uh, type in what you want. And you can change that. It doesn't even have to be kilos and pounds. It will be whatever. So you see 80 kilos is 176 pounds. And uh, you can also change other stuff here. Temperatures, Fahrenheit to Celsius. Now in the UK we use Celsius and in the States they use Fahrenheit. And uh, it always confuses my friends when I talk about Celsius. So here you go, you can just quickly convert it and type in what you want. So for instance, if you want to do 28 Celsius, it's 82 Fahrenheit or 82.4 Fahrenheit. And that's it. You can do speed, kilometers, uh, kilometers per hour, miles per hour, and uh, you can put up there whatever you like. Now, some countries do use kilometers. We use miles per hour over here, and uh, you can change it. As simple as that. And you've also got other ones up there as well. So you can just change it around. And I'll say something like 130 miles per hour, which is 209 uh, kilometers uh, per hour. And you can see here, you can change feet per second, miles per hour, knots, and all that sort of good stuff on there as well. And we've got loads of other goodies on there. And that's pretty much it. You can see it's packed with uh, good features uh, built in here. It'd be great if they could do uh, even translation. And I should imagine that will be in the future. And that would be great if you can use that. But you can see it's feature packed with um, loads of good stuff in here without you having to search the internet for the answer. It's all there built into Windows 10. I'm going to just take a look at one more here, which is uh, length, and you can change this to inches and centimeters. And uh, if you was born in feet and inches, you could just quickly convert this to centimeters. It's very easy. So if you're ordering furniture online or wood or something like that, you want to do a quick calculation, you can do it all here. And you can see feet, yards, miles, uh, kilometers, meters. And it's all right there, uh, millimeters, and you can convert it. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out. Just a quick video. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.